Mickey's Magic Omnibus, where are we going today? It's Mickey's Magic Omnibus, what game are we gonna play? Hello, welcome to Mickey's Magic Omnibus, the first ever episode of this new sort of series I'm doing, which is basically me playing uh, random games for like an hour, half an hour, maybe editing it down to half an hour maximum, I don't know, I haven't really planned it out yet. But uh, today's game is Towns, um, and it's basically sort of a way of me playing games which, you know, I'm not sure if I want to do a full playthrough of them and record it, or it's just not a game that suits a full playthrough, so maybe like Age of Chivalry or something where you don't want to watch me upload millions of episodes of it, but one-off is kind of fun. Um, so yeah, it's kind of one-off episodes of different games, and if you like the game a lot, and let me know in the comments and by thumbs up and all that stuff, then I might do a full series of it if you want me to. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just a way of me to play more games <laughs> more frequently, uh, without being tied down to sort of uh, playthroughs. So yeah, Towns is today. Uh, I think this game is still in development, so you know, there are lots more things still to be added, balances still to be done, uh, but it's a fun game, sort of inspired by Dwarf Fortress, uh, you might have seen Sips play it, he made a big series of it, um, lots of other YouTubers have played it, but this is just sort of me doing a little bit of a fun new game, making a new map, I'll just do a n normal map, uh, so uh, do not use buried towns, so new game, let's just do uh, Magic Omnibus Map. So yeah, just gonna sort of have a bit of fun, really. Uh, oops. Uh, yeah, have a bit of fun and just sort of play the game. Um, so if you haven't seen anyone else play it, you can find out if you like the look of the game. But yeah, uh, so this is this is these are my dudes. You start off with a bunch of townies. I've got Mirabelle, Sadon, Earl, Griffin, Leone, Francis, Sybil, Joseph, Heloise, Arabella. And Ismay and Gregory. So yeah, you start with eleven. You used to start with less than that, I think. But uh, yeah, it does change. So you can kind of sort of cut away the world, and you can zoom up and down. Well, not zoom. Uh, change layers. It's all about layers, really. So like, at the moment, so if I were to look at things, I'm looking at the grass there. You see, so it's the top layer. If I scroll down, it's uh, the next layer. Keep scrolling, and you can, it cuts away the layers. So it's sort of three D sort of effect. Um, yeah, so this is the base layer and uh, basically you build a town of people uh, and try and get them to survive and build a nice thriving town community and but then there are like jungle areas as well with froggies in. Let me just, yeah, there's a froggy and these are going to try and attack my dudes uh, so uh, we want to stay a bit away from them for now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of a fun game. You build up your town and the way that you build things is uh, sort of this menu down here. So if I select chop and sort of drag it out, uh, they're going to go and chop down those trees when I start the game and unpause it. So there we go. Other things I want to do right now, uh, build a carpenter's workshop. And you build little buildings like that, that's, so that's a zone. Oh, there's a combat going on. A tree keeper. So yeah, so sometimes the tree will actually be a living creature. Uh, and if you kill it, it'll sort of, uh, well, if you try and chop down the tree, it'll try and kill you. Uh, but yeah, so there's different menus of building things. This is the automated menu, which is kind of very useful and necessary if you want to actually play the game. This the sort of designation tools, so you chop down trees, gather, you can gather these apple trees if I wanted to. Uh, cut down bushes and things, dig holes, mine into the side of mountains and whatnot. Uh, till the ground, so I'm also going to want to till the ground because those sort of tree keepers can, if you run into too many of them, end up killing your townies. So I'm going to till an area and plant some trees there because if you plant your own trees, uh, they don't spawn tree keepers, so you're sort of safe then. Um, but you need to keep your townies fed, uh, really, that's one of the early game things that you need to do. Uh, and sort of just keep them happy as well, because there's a happiness rating right there. Average happiness, 34. They're not very happy at the moment. They're, I'm setting them right to work uh, without a break, so... But we'll get this carpentry workshop set up, and then that'll be... enable us to build more things. And yeah, it's like things you can build. There's like traps, stairs and things, you workshops, all the different times of workshops, hospitals, uh, but then there's walls, and there's like a 
loads of different types of walls, and within each of these there's like more types of walls. Um, we've got roads, planting, so yeah, once I've got this area, I can just select the trees and say I want to plant some trees in this area. And they'll find these little, not that one, that's a mushroom bush, but sort of a, they'll find some seeds sort of in the area, hopefully not too far away. They look like they're going far away, but uh, never mind. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. That, that's how tinies die. You just sort of leave them to their, themselves, and they'll probably end up getting themselves killed. But yeah, you can build furniture, containers to store items in, and all that jazz. It's, it's a fun sort of a system like that. Um, but yeah, sort of getting some trees planted, tree seedlings, and then it grows into bushes, and then it grows into full trees, which is good. Um, so yeah, next thing I want to build, probably the, uh, actually we want to mine out some of this uh, land right here so we can get some of this stone. So if, uh, one thing is if you're on the same level, so if it's like yellow, that means you want to be mining. There's hotkeys for the tools as well, so one, two, three, four, five, six, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but mining is the yellow one, and then digging is also mining, but that digs the green tile below. So it digs down, whereas mining digs sort of on this level. So I'll just kind of go down and uh, get them to mine out all this stone right here. Down there. Not too much, we don't really care that much about stone at the moment. We just need some to get, um, get ourselves started. We've got some townies sleeping here. Uh, sleeping in the woods, because, uh, you know, why not? I'm also going to get them to build a container as well, if I can. Raw materials container. I need the wood detailer before I can do that. So yeah, basically if you want to build things, it will tell you what you need. So I need a mason's bench to build a table and three stone blocks. And that's sort of how you figure out what you need to build next. When you think, oh, I, I don't have enough beds for my townies, you know. So you build the, the carpenter's bench, you build, get some wood from some trees, and then you can build a bed. And put it in either their personal room, a tavern, or the hospital, or a barracks, or whatever. The yellow is where you can place the room, sort of thing. Um, and then this menu over here, very important. Uh, this is how you set them to automated gathering. So if you say, I want you to automatically gather, uh, say, two apples, they'll automatically uh, gather those two apples and things like that. Or with uh, materials, I'll say, I want you to have at least seven wood at all times. So they'll keep a stockpile of seven wood. And uh, whenever it goes below that, they'll chop down another tree in order to get the wood. So I want to keep that up at 10 at the moment. So once these trees go, they should uh, start chopping them down immediately. Oh yeah, I'm going to put down uh, a wood detailer. Now that I have uh, some stone from uh, up here, you see? You've got lots of stone. It's lovely. Um, and also we'll want to get ourselves a zone so that we can build our mason's workshop. So we'll build that just sort of a... Uh, Let's put it. Let's not build it there. Uh, close menu. Let's build it. Uh, the masonry on this side, next to the. Oh, that's four. Ah, it can be a big masonry. That's fine. <laughs> uh, then another important one. When you're starting out, you want food, and the uh, best way to do that is have a little bakery. So we'll put a bakery there, and we'll get uh, some more tilled land. Just a little bit of tilled land. Uh, not too much. Don't want to overstretch ourselves. Um, where's the mason's bench? So yeah, now that we've got the wood detail, you see, we can build the mason's bench in the uh, masonry. And also, we can build the things for the uh, baker's table, and all the baker's table so they can make the bread. And we'll also need a uh, baker's oven once we've got the baker's, the mason's bench, sorry, we can build the oven so they can cook the bread. And also, you need uh, a mill. Mill's important. You can put a mill anywhere. Uh, so I'm going to put it there. Can you? Oh, maybe not. Maybe you can only put it in a... Uh... Oh no, yeah, you can put it anywhere. Because um, that turns the wheat, which I'm about to plant there. So if I say, uh, let's plant some wheat here. What's this message? Mill can't be made. Needs an accessible mason's bench. Alright, yeah. So uh, there's a mason's bench there now, so they'll build that mill, hopefully. And now we can get our uh, baker's oven. Put that there. So yeah, they should, uh, in theory, be uh, 
getting some wheat to plant there. But maybe not. Oh, I, I think I need to make them gather the wheat up first. So if I go back to gathering and harvesting, and then uh, there's, there's some wheat there. And if important tip, holding down shift and clicking something means you can then you keep the same uh, tool out. So let's uh, go around and harvest some wheat that's nearby. You don't want to harvest wheat that's far away or near the froggies, because then uh, your townies will run into trouble and get murdered brutally, probably. <laughs> um, here's some wheat over here. I don't want to go that way, really. Uh, down here, this is this is pretty safe. So let's uh, get that wheat, that wheat, more wheat, and more wheat. Hopefully that will be enough uh, to get our little wheat farm up and running. Um, other things we'll need to do right now are... Uh, we can set up some rooms for them. We haven't got any walls yet, but that's really... You don't... Walls are not important in this game. I mean, you know, they keep out monsters and whatnot, but uh, at the moment they're not entirely necessary. So what we can do though is uh, just get the zones, personal rooms, and uh, rather than actually giving them personal rooms, we can just put uh, lots of rooms next to each other. So that's three rooms, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, Let's make some other rooms there. Don't really want to put them in front of the trees. Um, eight rooms, how many? We need eleven. Eight, nine, and eleven, I think there's eleven. Well, I can't put them in the narrow anyway. Uh, so they should all have rooms right now. So yeah, Arabella's got a room, that's Ismay's room, and she's in it. So you see, they, they'll go to their rooms to sleep in, even though they have no beds. That's their personal space. Um, oh yeah, now I can build a little container and put it uh, sort of next, in between the uh, two workshops. Um, because then they'll put all these this wood in that container. Another container I'll build right now is a raw food barrel in the kitchen, and also a prepared food barrel in the kitchen. It helps just keep the clutter to a minimum, really. Uh, so they'll kind of haul the wood into that little thing right there. See, see, there she goes. Who's that? Who's that? Mirabelle put the first piece of wood, and then and then immediately Francis has taken it out to build something. <laughs> Great, good job, Francis. Um, so yeah, that's this, this sort of basic setting up the first sort of area. Um, now I think what I want to do is, when this wheat grows, I want them to automatically harvest the wheat. So if we just set five, uh, set four. So uh, any time they'll automatically harvest four wheat from this area when it's ready to be harvested. Seven wood and a stone. We got we run out of stone. We're running out of stone there. So uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's harvest that one. Yeah. Get some more stone. You can just drag it out like that. It's quite easy to get them to get rid of this stony hill right here. Right, so uh, we got we haven't got any food. We want apple. We've got one wheat. We need this wheat to grow, really, ideally. Um, <laughs> at some point that wheat will grow, and that will be a happy, happy day. Is that done? Yeah, <laughs> they're all just milling about on the stones. So let's mine out the rest of it. Uh, important things to note as well. Uh, townies can go up and down, and mobs as well. Monsters uh, can go up and down one block, so they don't need a ladder up one block. Um, they can just climb that up normally. It's when you get to like two blocks high that they get stuck. They can't climb up or down. So it's important when you're building your walls to have scaffolding, which is a uh, thing right here, because that means uh, they can just go up and down scaffolding without, with ease, really, um, without getting stuck on top of walls. Because uh, when I first tried playing this game, I had a lot of townies starving, and I was like, "Why are they starving? Where are they? I don't even know where they are." Turns out they were stuck on the top of the walls that they just built, and they couldn't get down. <laughs> they were just starving to death. So it's a bit sad, but. Uh, yeah, it's going to go get this wheat, and then with that wheat, what I'm actually going to set them to do is uh, grow the wheat farm. 
So rather than uh, turning the wheat into food, which is which is probably something I should do at some point, I'm going to get them to turn the wheat into more wheat fields. So I can get maximum amount of wheat uh, ready. I'll also get them to expand this tree farm, actually. Because the more wood you get, the better, really. You build more things. Pine trees. Get them to plant some of the pine trees. That'd be nice. Um, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, more wheat right here. And then get the trees. And that one, because that was uh, blocked off earlier. There we go. We got, we got a lot of stone right there. That's pretty good. Where are they all going? Oh, they're going off to get more wheat, I bet. Oh, no, they're going off to get bushes, aren't they? Don't go too close to the froggies. <gasps> oh, no, there's a froggy right there. Stay away from him. He'll kill... She's just gone to sleep right next to the froggy. Who is this fool? Oh, she's gone away. Who is this? Who are you? Who are you? Mirabelle Mordewitt. She's gone to sleep. Or oh, maybe they need to sleep. Maybe it just means she's tired. She didn't just fall asleep next to the froggy. That, that would be foolish. So she's got one apple between everyone at the moment. Uh, luckily no one's hungry yet. <laughs> We've only got one apple between everyone. Uh, yeah, so what, one other thing I'll probably do right now is... Uh, try and get some... Uh, oh, let's harvest that apple tree. Let's get another little uh, area tilled. Sort of, let's put it here. Just a small little area. And uh, I think we'll plant some apple trees there. So we can grow our own apples. Because uh, who doesn't love apples? Apples are wonderful. Crunchy, fresh apples. As long as they're fresh, they're good anyway. No one likes old apples. Um, yeah, and then there's sort of all the livestock as well. Um, you can set them to kill them. Uh, if you're a vegetarian, look away now. Because uh, Sybil is about to break this badger's neck. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Raw badger meat. Do you really want to eat this? Probably not. Uh, but there you go. So, yeah, you can sort of... Uh, eventually you can build farms for the animals and they'll sort of reproduce for you. You can have uh, animal stocks, which is quite fun. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's get a little uh, apple farm going there. Now, I still haven't got any wheat, but I think I set... Did I set a wheat gathering order? I did. So they should, let's set, change that to eight. So we, we, they're gathering eight wheat, but they're not doing anything with the wheat. Well, they're not gathering it yet because it hasn't grown. But once they gather it, we want to make them turn it into flour. Done at the mill, which I've uh, built conveniently there, close by. So let's say turn four of the wheat, collecting eight, turn four of it into flour. Let's say six. Turn six of it into flour. Then of that flour, we want them to bake, let's say, uh, four loaves of bread. So we'll always have four loaves of bread. So I think that's a good way of doing it. I set them to gather these fruit here as well. So they can finish planting them there. Because uh, with apple trees, unlike normal trees. You don't need the bush seeds to plant them, you just need the apple. Because of course that's how fruit works, isn't it? Um, what is this rooster doing here? I don't know. Um, this is just little messages popping up here. And yeah, one thing you could do is uh, have soldiers. You can convert civilians into soldiers. So what I'm going to do now is actually uh, tell them to build some armor. Let's get some wooden armor sets going. So. Uh, say four. Just so I can show you what it's like. So yeah, if you use the left menu, um, it just builds that many and then stops. Whereas if you build the right menu, it will have that minimum. So it's the minimum stock or just immediately build these many for me. So I'm going to get them to build the wooden long swords, I think, because they're, they're stronger, aren't they? So let's get four wooden long swords right there. Like that. So yeah, they're going busy busy in the carpenter's workshop building some armor for people, you see. So uh, what you do, what we can do is, uh, if we scroll back up, let's say we want Mirabelle to be a soldier. So we'll say, equip this wooden helmet. 
They equipped this breastplate. Uh, they haven't built any stuff for her yet, but once they do, we can set her to equip that. Alternatively, if you just press auto equip, like that, equip it, uh, they'll go and find any items that they like the look of and just uh, build and just equip them themselves. So uh, Mirabel and Sedon have got a little bit of basic armor on them at the moment. And really, before the froggies get close enough, I want everyone to be wearing wooden armor and wielding a wooden weapon, just so they have a bit of a better chance if they get surprise attack from some uh, nasty little uh, froggies. So yeah, almost got a full uh, load of apple trees planted. Let's gather that one up, and then they can finish planting them. And then, we'll say, I want the minimum of... Uh, Five apples, let's say. So yeah, we got we got four bread in there right now. They've made so they got the stock of four bread and they got uh, two flour. They're turning the wheat into flour right there. So what we can do actually though, now that we've got bread and we've, we're harvesting apples, we can say you know, what? normal bread. That's a bit boring, isn't it? You know, uh, what we want is an apple pie. So let's have. Uh, four apple pies as well. How about that, eh? It's pretty good. Because uh, apple pies will fill them up more. Whereas this bread, 75% full, 85% full. Uh, they'll be, uh, won't need to eat so much if they eat the apple pie rather than the normal bread. And uh, how full they are will affect how happy they are as well. Happiness sort of affected by uh, how full they are. I think we've got four sets, haven't we? I built four. Um, how happy they are, how much food they've got, if, you know, if they're hungry they won't be happy but also how much work you're making them do. If you uh, make them do loads of work all the time they're just going to not be very happy so I've set lots of jobs for them building all this stuff immediately uh, so they're not exactly that happy but uh, you know they'll get happy once I uh, give them some more free time and build them some beds as well, they want some beds I'll build them a bit later maybe if I keep playing Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, so yeah, one other thing, important, a marketplace. You want to have a market as soon as you can, really. Um, because uh, what will happen is you'll get random caravans. And uh, they'll just be randomly generated, come up off the edge of the map and just stop at the market. And you can trade with them for things. And, you know, they'll have different specialties. Some will uh, be selling you good wood and wooden items. Some might be bone merchants selling you bone items and or raw materials, so you can buy iron and wood from one of them or something. And it's a good way of making money, because yeah, I've got 58 gold at the moment, but if I uh, had some money I could buy iron, rather than having to mine for it, because you can mine for iron if I dig down into depths, somewhere down there somewhere. But that runs the risk of uh, running into a dungeon, and dungeons are full of nasty monsters like slimes and goblins and spiders, and things that are likely to kill my my nice little community. So uh, really you don't want to head into there, the dungeons until you've got a good sort of small soldier force with some decent weapons. Um, so for now we're doing alright. Let's get these, make sure they keep uh, getting all the equipment. See look we got an apple pie right there, that's nice isn't it? Um, also the market is the sort of place they might hang out if they're a bit bored. So yeah, she just went to hang out there for a couple of seconds. <laughs> um, they're chopping down the trees right now. Seems to be the main agenda. Um, so I think for the moment we're doing alright. We're doing good right now. They call me Woody. Woody the Longsword. That's great. Auto equip that. There you go. Leone Marcy picked up that sword. Now, other things we want to build right now, um, some utilities. See, the thing is, you need iron to start building the actual, uh, even more useful utilities. Um, we build some traps or some stairs, but it's not much point in building them yet because we haven't come under siege or anything. You can build doors. You can build doors to put in the walls that you build. Or alternatively, you can build beds. I think what I'll do is I'll. Uh, Set up some orders for beds, because also I think... Pretty, can you build beds by order? No, you can't. Okay, so I have to build beds from here. Let's get a bed for each room. Get 
because uh, a bed will make their rest more comfortable and uh, make them happier because they had a good night's sleep. Also you can give them like cupboards and just sort of nice decorations for their room. Give them a chimney, a fireplace, a chessboard. Although it's just a wooden squares table apparently, not actually a chessboard, but you know, decorative, here we go. So you build some indoor stuff. So say uh, I could build them a harp, that'd be nice. Or a clock. That needs iron though, so I can't mean that. You can build gold if you've got gold, you can build a bird in a golden cage. It's quite nice. Um, for now, I don't think I'll give them decoration because uh, that's a bit, you know. Graves. Graves are important. When your townies start dying, you want to put them in a grave before they turn into a ghost. Because ghosts exist in this world. Spooky, spooky, spooky ghosts. Look at them all hanging out in this little marketplace. What's the happiness? 13 happiness. So I'll put some uh, outdoor decoration. See, outdoor. Let's give them. Uh... Oh, you need iron for flags. Um, I've got some... I don't have any mud. I need some mud. Where you get mud is by uh, digging out grass. So we just dig out some grass, we should get a little bit of mud. Oh no, we were unlucky there. Didn't get any mud. <laughs> Let's just mine out some more. Oh, oh no. Dig out some more, rather. And mine out some more here. And some more here. Hopefully that will generate us some mud. Yeah, there's some mud. We got some mud there. So we've got two mud, I think. So let's uh, build a couple of bonsai trees. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Let's get some bonsai trees next to the marketplace. Because decorations will help uh, make them happy if they're just sort of hanging around decorations. And that barrel's full at the moment, so let's, uh, let's build another barrel for them to put all the food in. Or is it prepared food? Let's put that there. Eight stone, that's full already as well. Got all this stone, I guess. Not surprising. Um, they're putting the beds in the little rooms, you see, so they'll go to sleep in these beds. And that'll be great, because then they'll have a good night's rest rather than just sleeping on the floor. Um, yeah, look, they're hanging out here, loving the little bonsai trees. Look at them. Also, a fun thing that's quite nice, actually, in the decoration thing is signs and writable items. You can build signposts. Engraving stones, little books as well. You can have books, uh, signposts, and all that. Scrolls, if you want. So, if uh, say I was to build a little uh, engraving stone, sort of, let's say next to the marketplace, because that's sort of the, I guess, the hub of the town. Although it's right next to the edge, so it's probably not a safe destination. <laughs> and uh, while we're here, I'll tell them to drop down these two pine trees because they're just, you know, unsightly things. Yes, they've built an engraving stone. If you right-click on that, you can add new text. So in this, you can type anything you want, really. So I can say, uh, um, what should I say? I can call this town the town of uh, magical omnibuses, named after this new series. So yeah, the town of magical omnibuses. That's what this town is called. Let it live long and prosper. <laughs> they're getting through this, these trees fast, aren't they? I guess they're building all these beds and it's using up the wood. Um, now another thing which is, is kind of nice is actually, actually build some walls for these areas. So you two, two sort of dormitories. Um, big one and a smaller one. And uh, get them walled up. Now log walls, sort of the basic wall, but they're not very pretty. So let's just go to some wooden walls. Now which one should we go for? I quite like the look of these. They look pretty good. Let's go for that. Now holding down shift again will let you uh, build more easily. So we sort of build around it like this. And uh, just leave a space there so we can put a door in later. Build along here as well. Leave another space there. Build around there. Build around there. Oh. Oh yeah, the raw barrels thing. We can have, actually let's uh, yeah, get rid of that area. And we can just put some more raw barrels in the middle. So if we have a storage area, <laughs> that'd be good. 
and then back to the walls. And that's a oh, there's a stone block in the way. How terrible. Uh, if you put the door like there, it's great. And the bakery needs some walls as well. Like that, it's pretty good. Don't need a walls for the marketplace because, uh, yeah. Marketplace just an open air sort of venue, nice little area. Yeah, so they're putting walls all over the place right now. Just to speed that process up, I'll get them to chop down a few more trees and hopefully they won't trigger any tree keepers so they won't end up dying. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Oh, gather that apple tree, gather that apple tree. They're all pretty busy at the moment. Uh, only four of them are armed, so let's uh, get some more protection for them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that one. Oh, no, that's stock. Whoops. <laughs> uh, one, okay. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that way. Uh, We'll have armor for everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely. Just some basic armor and basic weaponry so that, uh, you know, because eventually the froggies will sort of end up over here. And at a certain point, you'll end up with sieges as well, where people will come off the edge of the map. Spiders and slimes will oh, come and try and kill you. Um, that's just an alarm going off. Let me know that it's been half an hour. But I think I'll keep going. I think this will be a good hour-long episode, maybe. Or well, maybe 45 minutes or something, I'll edit it down. Who knows? Because um, there's this, you know, sort of, I've only really just shown you the very beginning of the game. So I'd like to get some walls put up first, so you can see what a town actually might look like. Once it's got some walls. Um, who's the Gregory Pennant? Going to sleep right here doing all right. Happiness 2, he's not doing all right, he's a bit bummed. What's he, I wonder what he's grumbling about. We're good for food. We're good for food though, so he's not hungry. Probably just annoyed that they've had to be building and tilling the land and mining out things and chopping down trees all the time. And there's no time to rest. Once you've got your basic setup, you know, you've got a bit of food, then you can start letting them have a bit less work to do, really, because uh, the happier they are, uh, the more likely you are to get more immigrants. Now, you won't get immigrants just sort of willy nilly. You'll need to build a room for them first. So, uh, plop down another little 3x3 three three area and have happiness sort of uh, probably above 30 or 40, I think, and then you'll end up with a sort of random chance of more people actually coming up to your town and increasing the population. Which is good, because you want to have a bigger population just so, you know, if people die, they're easily replaced. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, one thing that's useful, while you're just sort of waiting for things to be built and stuff, is uh, you can increase the speed. Now, I think it's just... Uh, press this one. Add or equals increases the speed, so... Uh, so there you go, I've increased it up to uh, what's the speed? The speed of 5, so look, they're zooming around right now. It's going crazy. It's time to chop down some more trees. They're going crazy. Oh, they're building all the armor first, I guess. So let's tell people to auto-equip some of this. Well, another thing I might do now is uh, tell them to gather up some, uh, or harvest rather, some sugar cane. Because one of the greatest things about this game, in my opinion, is that you know you can harvest sugar. And if you've got some sugar, I think that's I just click four. So let's till a little area of four squares right here, and uh, I've harvested that sugar. So we got uh, four sugar. Five sugar cane. Five sugar cane. Let's, let's just let's till another couple and have six squares right here. You know, you can plant some sugar cane. 
right here. I think one thing I might show you, it needs to be close to water, but uh, I guess that's close enough because there's water right up there, so that's pretty close, isn't it? It's not too far away. Um, but yeah, sugar cane. So we'll tell them to harvest that sugar. Uh, gathering. So sugar, let's say, keep three sugar at all, four, four sugar at all times. That's probably a good idea. Um, so they'll harvest some of that sugar cane. And then you see, greatest thing, baking, right? Boom. Cakes. Minimum stock of two cakes. Flour and sugar. Look at that. That's a lovely cake, isn't it? I mean, that's a beautiful cake. It's going to be a lovely cake-filled town. And uh, if, if in fact, you know, you can't, you're not, you don't have to be close to water, and this, they don't seem to be putting something, there. oh, I don't have five, I only had five, didn't I? Um, but if you don't have to be close to water, if you just tell them to dig out a square there, say, because this is sort of still in development, I guess, I'm not sure exactly the reason, um, Z cuts away the world so, you know, you can sort of see past the blocks more easily. Um, you can add and remove fluids. I'm, I think that's probably still because it's in development. Um, but, you know, could be for any reason. But you know, uh, what we'll do is add a fluid and uh, get it to uh, add some water there. So uh, yeah, I don't know why I paused there for a dramatic pause and add some. Uh, Water? You weren't expecting that, were you? But yeah, so, just in case you don't have to be, you can add water in at the moment in this build. Whatever this build is, I can't even remember at the moment. Um, oh, look, look at this armor they've been building. Blimey. Let's get everyone equipped. With some of that. Yeah, the, I, th I probably shouldn't have made them build the armor because that slowed down the walls a lot. <laughs> But yeah, so you can add water so that if uh, you have to be far away from the lake or the river or whatever, you can make it so you can build the sugar cane where you need it. And we, we are empty of food. Important thing, priorities. Baking and cooking is first, gathering is second, so they should be built, should be making food. I think they happened to run out of wheat just then, didn't they? Um... So one thing I might do, uh, slow it down a bit. So that's, that's f speed four. So it's faster than normal, but not super fast. I think four is a good speed if nothing's going on. If you want, if things are going on like combat and things, you want to have it a bit slower so you can sort of watch the battle progress. Um, but we are running out of food here. So let's tell them to gather all this fruit. Let's gather that up. Let's gather it all. Oops gather all that fruit. So that there's at least something to eat. Um, you know, they got they got a bit crazy with building walls just then. But uh, and uh, I think because this wheat is growing fairly slowly, we might want to expand this wheat farm. Let's do that. Um, Two apples in the food stocks. So that's, that's all the food we've got left at the moment, uh, and we've got lots of stone actually. Maybe I could have built the walls out of stone. Never mind. Now, other room. Are there any other things we want right now? Dining room. Eh, not so much right now. We're good. Hospital. Nah. An, an arena. You can make badgers fight each other for fun times. Um, a barracks. We haven't got an army yet or soldiers, so. Uh, you don't really want to have permanent soldiers until you're later in the game, really, because if they're permanent soldiers, they won't be doing any work, and that's 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 not that's not acceptable. That's just not acceptable, really. It's terrible. Um, let's see if there's any uh, wheat nearby. We can go gather this wheat here, because oh. um, uh, it'd be good to get some more wheat for our dudes. So we don't have to wait for it to grow right now. Uh, so are we over here? Ah, oh, there is. Oh. Alright, that'll 
hopefully do. But yeah, I mean, uh, what just happened? I think someone just died. Did they? Combat message, a froggy. Where has this happened? A froggy just died somewhere over here. We missed the fight. I guess because we got... I think, I think Sadonda really just one-shotted that frog, didn't he? Oh no, wait, no, here's, here's what happened. You can look back at the logs of what happened, so... Sadonda really hit the frog, and hit the frog, and the froggy missed, and then Salon hit it again and killed it. So well done, Salon. Sa Sadon. Where are you, Sadon? There you are, baking some things right now. But, uh... You did well just then, that was, that was some pro skills right there. In frog slaying. Now, does everyone have all the armor and things? Yes. Everyone's got armor and basic weaponry. That's good. That should give them a fighting chance against any frogs that try to kill them on their journeys. So yeah, we're getting walls built now. Let's add some doors into these areas. Some just simple doors in all the little spaces I've left. And there. There we go. Oh, I missed one there, didn't I? Oh, that's good. Um, running out of wood again. Let's chop down a few more trees. Oh, for food now. We got apple and bread. Apple and pear. Not so good. Wheat is a bit... Yeah. Could do with some more wheat, really. Um, although, in the meantime, we can just kill a few animals. And uh, slow it down a bit. So they're easier to catch. Kill the chicken. Kill that bull. Okay, no, where did that sheep just go? It just disappeared. And uh, they won't like eating raw meat, but they'll eat it if there's nothing else. You can build like cooking fires, but it's a bit pointless to build the cooking fire. Because you just have to keep adding more wood and things to it. Uh, it's a bit more trouble than it's worth. Ideally we want a caravan to arrive. A materials caravan. Because although we have nothing to really sell, we can sell some bread and things I guess at the moment. Um, there's some raw poultry in the workshop. And then buy some iron as soon as possible. Really, you want iron quite early on if you can buy it, or if it's on the surface nearby or something. Because I don't, I don't think there's any iron uh, on the surface. That's a rarity, really. You're very lucky if you get iron on the surface. Um, if it even spawns on the surface anymore, I'm not sure if it does. It did at one point um, in the builds. But yeah, iron, uh, so that you can build... Uh, some of these more useful utilities like the stove which is basically a permanent fireplace so they can keep cooking meat uh, without having to build the cooking fire which requires wooden flint every time and it burns itself out over time so you need to keep building more um, and that's once you get you know, like a butchery business going which is kitchen tables so they can cook the meat and have nice little meals roast dinner I think is one of them is it roast dinner? Yeah, roast dinner. Look at that, lovely. No roast potatoes, though. Uh, I'd miss the roast potatoes. That, that'd be a shame. Right. But yeah, so we, we got some... Uh, the first level of walls almost completed. We we'll want to build another level and then the roofing. Um, I might just do that on a, this small building first. Rather than uh, wait for everything to get completed. Because... Oh, that didn't work. So, uh, yeah. so if you press G, that's very useful for building because it shows you sort of what you can actually see on this level that you're on. Uh, we can, I think we can build one there. Yeah. Um, you know, so you can see. Okay, so if I build there, it's going to be above that one. Whereas if you're sort of doing it blind, it's going to say, okay, so am I? Am I uh, like this one. Oops, I'm not. I'm not on the right level. But you might have put them there by mistake, and they'd be all in the wrong place, and it'd be just terrible, and it'd look awful. Look absolutely awful. Oh, we can build one there as well now. But that's been done. Brilliant. Um, it might uh, also be worth expanding this a bit. So let's uh, get that. Actually, actually we can uh, expand that there. 
And then rather than have more apples, we can uh, have some pears as well. So let's get, say, uh, some pears right there. Don't know if that many pear trees, but uh, there's one. Let's get that pear tree. Any more pear trees nearby? Well, there's loads of trees up here. Let's get all of them. And uh, set a gather order for pears. I haven't got so many pears, so uh, keep that lower for now so they manage to plant them all first. Now, why has that not been built there? Ah, you see, because I built it on the wrong layer. Foolish me. Let's cancel that build order. And uh, go on to the right. You see, grids on that level, so that's uh, the right place to build it. Um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good game. I enjoy it. Um, they're building the second layer of walls right here, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to get them to build a scaffolding in that square, right there, and then above that square as well, so they can get up to the top layer without uh, getting stuck. Oh, let's close the grid. Now, why are they not harvesting the sugar cane? Gathering sugar from sugar cane. Hmm. Let's just tell them to harvest that one then. And hopefully they'll uh, put it right there. Why are you putting it there? Put it in the place where it's meant to be. There you go. Uh, so actually, you want to tell them to harvest sugar cane. There we go. That's what I forgot to do. I got them making it into sugar, but uh, I didn't have them uh, actually harvesting the sugar cane. That's what, that's why they weren't doing it. So yeah, it pays to sort of just explore the menus fully. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff here. Got hide, all the different types of hides that they can skin from animals. You can pick flowers to make dyes, to make coloured outfits and all that kind of jazz decorative walls, so we can make pillars, or iron bars, or fun things like that, or hedges, make some hedges, that would be fun, should make some hedges, I won't bother with hedges right now, but uh, hedges are quite nice, pretty things, um, any other zones I need right now, not at the moment, not at the moment, um, how are we doing, whole load of raw meat, a lot of apples, that's a good thing, Let's chop down some more trees here. And this is a carnivorous plant, so if they actually uh, walk on top of that, I think. Do you just walk on No. They'll uh, get injured if they walk on top of that. So you wanna. You can make traps and things actually later, like uh, as I showed earlier on. Uh, in here, traps. One of the traps is you can. If you cut that plant and gather it up, you can place it somewhere else so it'll stop your enemies and damage them a bit before they reach you. Let's gather up this. Yeah, so yeah, we, we got a full basic wall down here, but uh, oh, we got the second wall up here, so let's, let's work on building this roof. Now with roofs, you want to start... Oh, up a level. Yeah, that's the right one. You want to start with the outer layer, um, and then work inwards, or else you'll end up with the, the roof in the middle just falling in, and it will kind of glitch out a bit. And you'll have to delete it and build it again because, you know, if you build a roof without connecting to support, it's just going to fall down, isn't it? Uh, so let's turn the speed up a bit. I'm trying to build this super speedy. Turn it up to 5, why not? So, yeah, we're getting a little roof to our bakery. A uh, wooden roof, wooden building. Not very safe considering there's a fire in the baker's oven. But, you know, eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> Let's check the average. 68 average happiness. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We could, if we wanted to, we could build some more rooms on this side of the building uh, and expand our sort of town number. Because the more people you have, uh, the more work they'll be able to do. So people get more rests and get be more happy. Sort of works like that. It's clever. Also, though, you'll need more food, and I don't think we're quite ready to up food production yet because it looks like we're struggling as it is to keep up with demand because the wheat just isn't growing fast enough. Um, 
so let's kill this wild chicken as well, get some more raw meat. I'm not sure if they can eat raw meat, but I'm pretty sure they do, if they're like starving. So if they're starving, they'll eat the raw meat, which is great. Alright, so they've quickly built that roof there. Let's go back with the wooden roof again. And uh, check we're in the right space, yep. And then uh, go with those. See, it doesn't let you build there until there's support for it. So uh, that'll be nice, and uh, that'll be probably done very quickly, really. Um, so, yeah. So now that there's support there, we can put it in there, because there's one next to it, so it won't fall down. And then nearly done with our first completed building. The first building of Magical Omni... M magical Omnibuses? The Town of Magical Omnibuses. That's what it's called, isn't it? So yeah, let's go back to regular speed. There you go, they built a bakery. It's nice, isn't it? Looks nice little roof there. The nice walls. And if you look inside, they're making some uh, cake. Oh, they just made cake! That's lovely. One who's going to get to eat that cake? Me. That's when I was going to eat that cake, and I eat it myself. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's a good sort of a first episode for Mickey's Magical Omnibus. If you liked it, thumbs up, um, subscribe, and all that jazz. Uh, leave comments and stuff if you'd like me to play more towns, because I know I feel I feel like towns is something which I could do a full playthrough of, or at least play a bit more of. And if you really want me to um, and record it, then uh, let me know in the comments and by thumbsing up and all that and favoriting this video and whatnot. And I might uh, continue with the town of magical omnibuses. Uh, but yeah, next episode of Mich Mickey's Magical Omnibus will be something different. Maybe in a few days or next week or something, I'll upload that. Um, but it'll be a different game. It, if I start a series, it won't be a Mickey's Magical Omnibus of towns. It'll be a new series completely. The Omnibus is for random new games every time. So I'm hoping you'll enjoy that. More variety of games should be just more entertaining to watch, really, I think. Without watching the same game over and over again and getting bored of it. Because I get bored of games, and uh, it's nice for me to be able to sort of play other games. Uh, so I've got a couple of other games lined up I'm going to play soon for the Omnibus. Also, I'm still doing playthroughs of other things. There's uh, Amnesia footage. Still playing Trouble in Terrorist Town. There's footage of that. Um, Yes, there's, there's other, th other things I'm still doing. I'm still going to do playthroughs, it's just uh, I thought this would be a nice thing to do for me, and hopefully for you too. So yeah, until next time, goodbye.